guys it's Shade. I'm doing a everyday look tutorial um, for you guys that don't watch my other vlog channel um, like I said before I am a mom I have two beautiful children I have a, a almost five-year-old my son will be five in April and I have a almost 15 month old Tiana and she is just crazy my kids are crazy but I love them two pieces like I love my kids my kids are my world and so um you know sometimes I want to look I try to look you know glammed up as much as possible on the mommy tip if you get what I'm saying because I can't be like full face makeup every single day so I try to do something quick easy simple so I can get out the house with the kids drop them off pick them up get groceries but I don't want to be one of those stay at home moms that looks a hot mess and I see them a lot they just look a hot mess and I'm trying to keep my husband I want my husband to continue to be interested and so you know um I want you guys to bear with me because you know I'm new to this I was super nervous filming this um I have filmed like makeup videos before but never really like a sit down talk to you kind of video um and I'm normally vlogging which it's it's just stuff going on I'm not just sitting here talking to a camera but um so I brought my friend right here Mr. Corona y'all I love beer I love wine I love liquor I love to drink so nine times out of ten in my tutorials y'all will see me drink a little bit of something but it's just to calm my nerves so I can give you guys a great tutorial um, I'm super excited about this tutorial because I finally got a ring light no it's not a diva ring light it is a do-it-yourself um, LED rope light thingamabobber that my dad um, helped me get and it was super cheap it was only like 50 bucks so thank you daddy thank you shout out to you but um, I hope you guys like this look if you like this look go ahead and stay tuned and follow me and we will get this look together for you. okay guys so as a stay-at-home mom I don't have much time to get cute and glamorized every day but I do want to make sure I don't look like a total hot mess when I walk out the door because I have errands to run I got places to go I got people to see and important stuff to do as a mom so we're gonna go ahead and get started this is gonna be quick simple to the point it will looking flawless so what I like to start off with, because my lips get dry a lot, especially in the winter, I'm using Boudreaux Baby Kisses, and this stuff is amazing. I absolutely love this. That's man and you. And I actually got this um, at my daughter's um, baby shower, and I just put a little bit on my lips. Okay. And then next, I've been moisturizing my face with coconut oil, extra virgin organic coconut oil. And it smells so good. Like you put it on your face and you definitely smell like an almond joy. So I put just a little bit on. I don't want to look too glossy, but it really moisturizes my face, especially this area here right around my mouth. It gets super dry. My chin gets dry. My nose gets dry. Everything else, like my forehead, I don't concentrate on too much because it's like my oily zones or whatever. So I just kind of leave that alone. And guys, please bear with me. The camera setup, the lighting setup. I am new to this and I'm going to be learning as we go. So I hope everything looks good. But okay, so the first thing I do is I actually put eyeliner on. And I've been using this um, NYC City Proof 24 Hour Waterproof Mascara. And I really, really like it because it doesn't smudge. It doesn't go anywhere at all. It stays like right on your face. I need to get me like a little mirror so y'all I have a mirror in front of me besides the one that's in my hand but it's not that great I can't really see okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows I absolutely love doing eyebrows and I am eventually gonna put up an eyebrow tutorial because a lot of people have been asking me about it so I'm just gonna do this really quick and simple for my eyebrows I have been using Mac and um, this is the only product I'm using that's not from the drugstore and it's the MAC, um, the Fluid Line Dip Down. It's like a dark, super dark brown. And then I have my spoolie, of course, and then an angled brush. I'm just gonna brush out these brows. Say it's I need to go um, clean them up a little bit. I don't even go get my eyebrows waxed no more, y'all. I just use my husband's razor that he uses to shave his head and um, line up his beard 
so okay real quick on the eyebrows I'm not gonna do like a full tutorial basically when I do my eyebrows all I do is outline the bottom where I want it outline the top fill in at the top I just make sure that it's really blendable so they look more realistic Sorry, y'all, my husband called. He's on his way home from a business thingy, my bobber or whatever. But okay, so now that I have my eyebrows drawn, they look big, dark, and blocky. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this. This is Maybelline New York. It's the in instant, ugh, I cannot talk, instant age rewinds, and I love this. I also use this to highlight. Can you see? Can you see? So what I do is I grab my little concealer brush. I'm just going to swipe the sides and then I'm going to clean up any mistakes I made but like I said I'm gonna do a video for this and um, really go in depth about how I do my eyebrows so you guys can get the hang of it it's super easy Okay, so now in the inside of my eyebrows, you'll see that I haven't blended them yet, but I'm gonna do that once I put my foundation on. So the foundation I am going to use, oh, sorry guys. Okay, the only other thing that I'm gonna use that's not drugstore, I'm trying to make this as drugstore as possible, is Too Faced, the Prime and Poreless. And I only use this because I got a free sample from Sephora last time I went. And all I do is I put this right here on my little parentheses on my face, because I absolutely hate them y'all they look so horrible i put like on the sides of my nose too but i really like focus right here in this area so i make my makeup can go on nice and smooth it won't crease or nothing like that so the foundation that i'm using is the maybelline fit me this is the first one it's not the um matte one which i do need to go get the matte one and i use color 355 i think it's like coconut or something like that so i'm gonna go ahead and i have this elf brush it's just a flat mask uh not mascara lord jesus it is a flat um foundation brush and i just use that to paint it onto my face if it'll come out if it'll ever come out just using up time okay y'all so i had to go ahead and just put it on my face because it was taking forever to come out of the container so i guess that means i need to look at some more so i'm just gonna kind of paint it all on my face and honestly like as far as coverage this is a pretty good coverage it does leave you a little dewy which is cool in the winter not so much in the summer because in the summer i sweat like a freaking pig but um i do like this foundation i will definitely buy it again i want to try it's a new foundation that they have i want to try it if i pick it up i will definitely show you guys and review it so i'm gonna take this is a um urban decay obstacle blurring brush that i had got from sephora like a few months back i really really love this brush so i'm just gonna go ahead and in circles just put this on super quick because my kids are yelling they're running around the house they need mommy but mommy needs to look good too right okay now i'm going to take whatever products is left on my brush and i'm going to use that to kind of like blend out my brows a little bit so they don't look so crazy Okay, and I'm happy with that because I gotta go. Time is money, y'all. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and highlight under my eyes. I'm gonna contour. I highlight and contour every single day. It just gives my face a little dimension. Um, and again, I'm using the Instant Age Rewind. And I'm just going to go ahead and make my little triangle under my eye. And honestly, it looks like I'm putting a lot on, but this stuff is really thin. I just go down my nose I don't really like to highlight my forehead for some reason I have a really big forehead so I feel like it's highlighted enough so I never highlight that and then I just do my cupid's bow a little bit and then just a little bit on my chin because I have a butt chin and I don't like to highlight that either 
Now, don't laugh at me, y'all. I do not have a beauty blending, a beauty blender sponge. I'm still old school. I keep it old school. It works for me. I just spray a little bit of water on it and we get it moving. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this out. And I don't know about y'all, but blending takes a long time. Like I'm tired, my arm hurt. This is like the longest part of my makeup routine, like honestly. And I've gotten so good at this, I don't even need a mirror. I'm just walking around the house like getting the kids dressed, signing folders, getting backpacks ready, making bottles. blended out I'm going to go ahead sorry guys I'm trying to get comfortable my foot is falling asleep I'm gonna go ahead and use my elf contouring blush and bronzing powder this is in Antigua Antigua how do you say it? Anti Antigua somebody told me it's not Antigua it's Antigua or something like that but anywho moving on it's a nice pretty blush which I do use and then of course I'm definitely using the bronzing powder I'm going to use just my fluffy brush I'm gonna go ahead and fish face it up. Draw that line on there real quick. And in a hurry, it's not gonna be perfect because I got kids, so we gotta keep it moving, like I said. Blend that in real good on the side so I don't look like a crazy person. And then the edges of my nose. Now I've been blessed to not really have a wide nose, but I just like that look. It looks like it's like a nice like contoured look. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out a little bit on the sides. Make it look all nice and such. Then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Um, my flat kabuki brush and I'm just gonna go in. Just make sure that the lines aren't harsh guys. When I first started contouring, I looked crazy. I had like line, line, highlight, highlight. It looked so crazy, y'all. Okay, so that looks nice. I'm going to put a little bit of blush. I'll just dab it, go. Dab it, go. Nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to take, okay, I lied. One more product that is not drugstore. It's my Sephora, um, Micro Smooth Baked Sculpting Trio. I forgot what it's called. It's nice, I like it. I probably wouldn't buy it again, but it's cool. Um, I'm gonna just highlight a little bit. Just right here, the bridge of my nose. So I think it looks super pretty, and I honestly just started doing this. And I'm just gonna put a little bit right here on the top of my cheek or my eyes. And I just like it, like I like the way the light and sun like reflect off of it. It looks really nice. Just go off and do that. Oh, and I do my Cupid's bow as well. I put a lot on my Cupid's bow actually because I'm gonna go over it with lipstick in a little bit. Okay, so I have that done. Now the next thing I'm going to do is do a little bit of shadow. Now honestly, I don't do a lot of shadow when I'm just you know out and about. So I go back to my um, contour blush and browsing powder by e.l.f. and I just get my, um, sorry wrong brush, my puffy brush, fluffy brush and just kind of go over my eye. I don't do anything too crazy. Just to give it like a, a nice kind of like matte look to where my eyelid my eyelids don't look like greasy. And then what I'm going to do last but not least is add a little bit of liquid liner to my lids. That's not the last thing. I gotta put some freaking mascara on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do and this is e.l.f. too. I got this from e.l.f. and this is in the color Midnight. So I'm gonna draw those on real quick. I have my winged eyeliner on now. I was 
struggling a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, which normally I don't struggle. It's actually pretty easy to put on. I'm just gonna brush out my eyebrows just a little bit. It's normally easy to put on, but I don't know what's going on right now. I guess because it's late at night. It's almost nine o'clock. And I couldn't even freaking find my mascara. Now the mascara I normally use is by e.l.f. It's the three-in-one mascara. Um, and I cannot find it. I thought it was in my purse, but apparently it is not. So I'm going to use the sample that Sephora, no, that MAC also sent me. Um, it's the Zoom Fast Black Lash. I actually like this too. I need to go buy me some. But I'm just going to use this sample really quick. Okay, and I'm done with that. Like, my face is totally done. This is normally how I go on an everyday basis as far as lips. Sometimes I will put a lipstick on. I normally just try to stick with, like, a nude or, like, a nude shimmery color. Um, two of my favorite, well, my absolute favorite lipstick is by MAC. It's half and half. I love that lipstick. Um, but I've also been using, it's by Revlon. It's called Creme Brulee. And it's, like, a really pretty like nude set sorry you guys it's all dirty like a really pretty like nude satiny color and so I just put that and the funny thing about my lips y'all I have naturally lined lips so it always looks like I have freaking lip liner on which sometimes it's cool sometimes it's not and I'm just going to um on top of my lips put this um this menthas shimmer tint by y'all know it's that Bath and Body Works lip gloss I really really like it and I also have this one which is just um, like a clear with the pink so I'm just gonna put the um, put the shimmer real on it so I'm feeling a little shimmery right now and that's about it now sometimes I'll do like a darker lip or whatever just if I want to feel a little more sexy throughout the day, I'll put like a dark lip on and go about my business. But most of the time, this is just quick, easy, simple to put on. It's not super fancy or nothing like that. I have my mom bun done and that is how I do my everyday mommy makeup look.